Decoding the World, Explaining Functions and Uses in English. Hello there, language enthusiasts. Welcome to another insightful lesson in our English language learning series. Today, we're going to be focusing on describing the functions and uses of objects in English. This skill is essential in our daily conversations, as it helps us explain how things work and what they are used for. So, sit tight, pay attention, and let's start decoding the world around us. In English, when we talk about the function of something, we mean its purpose or the job it does. The use of an object can also mean its function, but it often refers to how the object is used. This section will demonstrate how you can present descriptions of functions and uses in English. For example, consider the object, pen. We can describe its function by saying, the function of a pen is to write on paper. In terms of use, we can say, we use a pen to write letters, sign documents, or draw sketches. To accurately describe the functions and uses of objects, it's important to familiarize yourself with certain key vocabulary and phrases. Some of these include, it is used for, it serves the purpose of, the primary function of is to, it can be used to, you use it when you want to. Let's take the example of a knife. We could say, the primary function of a knife is to cut things. It can be used to slice vegetables, cut meat, or open packages. You use it when you want to prepare food or open a sealed box. Now, let's put our knowledge into practice. I'm going to show you some common objects, and you will try to describe their functions and uses. Object 1. Computer Object 2. Glasses Object 3. Clock. Take your time. Try to use the vocabulary and phrases we've learned, and remember, practice makes perfect. Well, there you have it, folks. We've learned how to effectively describe the functions and uses of objects in English. It's a crucial skill that will certainly come in handy in your daily English conversations. So, keep practicing and don't forget to use the new vocabulary and phrases you've learned today. Thank you for joining us, and remember, every step brings you closer to language proficiency. Happy learning, and see you in the next lesson.